Boost has expanded their Autostore installation several times. Autostore has many advantages such as speed, reliability and utilization of warehouse footprint. At the end of the day, it's all about cost per transaction. Boost is a Nordic e-commerce player and we have different categories. We've, we like to think of ourselves as a Nordic department store. So we have uh, sports, uh, men, women, kids, beauty and so on. So we have all different categories for the modern family, but in an online setting instead. So we like to give the same service as you get in a, in a store, but online and have that uh, service and all the facilities that you can have. We have a very strong tech focus in the company. So we have around 200 different uh, developers uh, creating everything from the web shop to a customer service system to warehouse management systems and also, as you can see, the outsource system as well. We went from a very manual uh, process and uh, now we're looking out to it. This is one of the biggest outsourcers in the world, if not the biggest. Uh, so we have, I mean, it's tremendous to see what the different capabilities that uh, tech can help out with as well. And we like to see the hardware as one part and we have the software as one part, the boost as well. So the, the hardware combination and the software combination is it's what is, uh, lies at the heart of the whole uh, efficiency gains uh, here at Boost. So Boost uh, technology lies in, in the core of what we're doing. We're spending a lot of innovation and like to focus on these things uh, to, to move the frontiers forward. Uh, we have a great cooperation with Altasor in forms of uh, research and development agreement. So anything that uh, is new on the market from Altasor, we like to try that out as well. The same thing as we do on the web shops in terms of machine learning and uh, different ways of automating for, for our different uh, people and uh, business units. We have a saying, we like to say power to the people and that the people is uh, different in different settings. So sometimes it can be the customer, so the customer has self-service capabilities. Sometimes it can be uh, the business units that they can do the work themselves without asking us. And sometimes it's also for the developers themselves, so they have their own tools to develop different things. So we like to see that to give the powers as much as possible to the person. So we're running the router here from, from Autostore as well, a, a part of the software that the, the Autostore is offering. And uh, we have a 30% efficiency gain uh, on our grid size. Uh, it's been a, a good thing for us, especially in peak. We started installing Autostore in 2016 and 2017 we went live with the first uh, cube. It started off as a 125,000 bin cube, but since then we have expanded Autostore every year. So we expanded the first cube and then we built a second cube, expanded that one, and then a third cube and expanded that one. So right now we're sitting on three different Autostore cubes. The first one is 250,000 bins, the second one is 460,000 bins, and the third is 530,000 bins. So in total it's uh, 1.2 million bins uh, that we have here as a capacity. So Black Friday is our the Super Bowl of e-commerce. It's the end of November and we like to start in August already. So it's a three month uh, preparation that we do. Uh, we add during the year, we add a lot of new technology from Autostore. We also add a lot of new features uh, to our own systems. And then we need to pressure test them. So it's a matter of making sure that it's working not only in normal days, but also during peak times. It's a completely different ball game when we go into peak times. So our number one thing that we are very, very cautious about is our customer experience. So we have a one to two day delivery uh, promise to our customers. And that is something that we try to keep doing peak times. It's a bit more difficult, but it needs to be a, a great customer experience. And that's something that Autostore helps us with uh, as well. So when we started the Autostore product, uh, we went from a manual uh, processing warehouse with the uh, carts and handheld computers to uh, uh, an automated warehouse. And I had one of our co-workers describe it as going from the amateur leagues to the Champions League, uh, which makes a lot of sense. It's, it's a different environment to come into a high-tech warehouse like, uh, like this with Autostore uh, than, than a manual warehouse. 
So when we measure the fastest order that we ever had from the checkout on uh, boost.com to it being ready, uh, produced out here in the warehouse and ready to go out to distribute is 63 seconds. So it's a, it's a very fast operation that we're running. And of course, everything needs to be aligned with the start, but uh, we're very happy with that performance and to be able to get from all those items we have. We have 900,000 different items here and to get that out in 63 seconds is something that we are very proud of. The, the best day we had in terms of performance was 190,000 pieces that we produced from all Altosor cubes here in 24 hours. And that's something we're of course going to improve and uh, be better at uh, this year. Uh, but it is a, it's a constant improvement that we, we're doing. We're tweaking down to milliseconds here uh, at the Boost uh, and trying to make it uh, as more efficient as, as uh, possible. So from a production point of view here, we have different KPIs that we, we measure uh, uh, how the output is in the different auto stores. And normally we have around 140 pieces per hour in operator and port that we, we uh, have as a target. And that's including both pick and pack that we do at, at the ports. Um, but then we go up at peak, then we're running more ports. So what we do is we balance the auto stores in terms of port used. So we have ports and we don't need to use all ports uh, at all the time. So, so a normal production day, uh, when we come in, uh, we, we look at the number of orders in the system and then we see how many operators that we need uh, on the different ports. So we can balance the system out. We can adjust the system and scale it up and down depending on how many orders are in the system. We have uh, solar panels on the roof uh, to make sure we're running an efficient uh, operation here, both from an environmental point of view, but also from a customer point of view. So our, our promise to the customer is that we should be the, the number one uh, uh, point of shopping from a, a sustainability point of view as well. So that's what we're trying to do with all the different uh, licensing and uh, the regulations that, that we have in our annual report. So Boost is delivering to 14 different countries in, in all of Europe and that, that, that's a very substantial task that we're, we're looking into and we keep growing every year and it's, it's basically due to all the automation that we have here that we can sustain these fulfillment and logistic operations that we have. Without automation it would be very much difficult to, to do the same thing. As an example we, we would have four times the size of the warehouse here if we didn't have AutoStore. We, uh, we had to start looking into new warehouse operations because we grew out of our warehouses very fast and we kept doing that. And that's why we found AutoStore, it was a perfect fit for us. So with this one here, uh, we can fit uh, four times as many pieces inside the current warehouse as we could before, which means that we have way lower footprint of the square meters uh, in the warehouse. So currently we have 900,000 items here in the warehouse and that's distributed to 9 million pieces that we have here. Uh, and uh, we, we put that into AutoStore to make sure that we have very fast delivery times to our customers. We're very excited about the launch of the, the R5 Pro robot. It's something that we've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, especially the charging capabilities or the fast charging as it's called from AutoStore is something that would be great for us during peak times but also during normal operations. We're running a, a multi-shift uh, environment in our warehouse and it's something if we can uh, reduce the charging times it's something that we can uh, add to the efficiency of the operators as well so the robots can then serve the operators more efficiently uh, for us. And it all boils down to the, to the total cost of operations so uh, the more we can have the robots running the, the better cost it is for us and the, the more efficient it is. 
So moving from a manual warehouse to an automated warehouse, uh, it, it creates a, a, a more of a hype for, for the people working here as well. It's more fun to come in to work in a more high-tech warehouse than, uh, than a manual one. So uh, we have workers here that have been here for uh, 11 plus years. They've been working here for a very long time. And so we see that the, the, the people here stay longer also. Uh, and uh, it has to do a lot with the environment that we have. We have automation. We're focusing a lot on making people more efficient and, and to, to stay longer at a happy place. Customer satisfaction is one of the main drivers for the company. We live on our customers and it's very important for us to keep our delivery promise to the customers. And that's something that Altus are helping us with. I do feel proud. It's something I, I have, sometimes I have issues with the celebrating successes. We're working on it, uh, but uh, sometimes it's just only, you know, we move to next step all the time. So it's, uh, it's Black Friday and they have Christmas and then it's next thing and next thing and moving forward. I, th I think that's also something we're great at the booth. We're always looking forward and to new things that we can do and achieve. But sometimes we need to work on celebrating our, our successes as well. And, and we're getting way better at it too. So uh, it's, it's, it's super cool to see how everything can work uh, in, in harmony with each other.